hey what's up guys welcome to this uh, next tutorial of the wordpress and in this class we'll be looking at the introduction of the wordpress okay so this is basically the uh, dashboard of the wordpress what you are seeing over here if you uh, are anywhere uh, on any of this tab if you want to see the desktop just cl come over here click on this uh, dashboard and you will be able to see the dashboard okay so if this is not blank and if you want to make this blank then click on this screen options and uh, whatever that you want just uh, select it and all the options Options you will get on the dashboard over here okay so this uh, initially uh, your dashboard would look something like this and then whatever things that you don't want just uh, remove it okay so just uh, remove whatever that you don't want I don't want anything so I'll uh, remove everything okay and just uh, click on this uh, screen options and it will go so basically this is your main dashboard uh, where you can keep uh, whatever uh, options that you want and whatever that you don't want you can just uh, remove it off okay and uh, next is the post okay so if you just go to this all the posts whatever that you whatever post that you write on your website you will be able to see uh, over here okay so all the post uh, you can edit it you can quick edit uh, you can move them to trash you can weave them and you'll be also able to see the author if there are multiple authors on your website you can also see the category okay so all the posts that you see uh, that you have written you will be able to see them over here if you want to uh, add new post or write some new post on your website then click on this to add new or you can also click over here okay and you can add a new post you can see the categories <coughs> uh if you uh, want to add some new category then you can uh, do that i'll say study then if you want to give this log like the study material okay so if you want to give a slug to this category you can uh, do that uh, if you want to choose some uh, parent category if you want to give, uh, put this under some main category then you can do that also okay so if suppose I want to uh, put this category under this category of the news then I will put this under the category of the news okay then if suppose uh, I uh, this basically uh, comes into picture when if so uh, this is the news okay so this is the main uh, category and inside of the news there is like uh, uh, weather news then the breaking news etc etc so under such circumstances you can make use of this parent category so let me just uh, say breaking news and uh, I'll give this log as uh, breaking description is not required if you want to go give you can give and uh, there is one more I can say breaking news like the weather news okay and uh, yeah I'll uh, put it under this parent category of news only okay so this is how you can give these subcategories uh, there is no harm you can give the multiple uh, categories multiple subcategories and it works fine if you even want to give the categories under this uh, weather you can do that also okay so this is all about the categories then come the tags <coughs> okay so these are some of the uh, tags which are present over here like the work workspace time uh, etc etc if you want to give some more tags you can give uh, tags also okay so tags are just like uh, categories but uh, this are uh, a little bit different okay so yeah when it comes to the post uh, post and all then the post is basically tagged with the text okay so all those things comes uh, under this uh, particular section of text uh, next is uh, media okay so whatever uh, things uh, that are there on your website like the pictures images logos all comes under the media okay videos and all and uh, all those you will find over here whatever that you want you can keep uh, if you don't want something you can just uh, select it and uh, you can uh, do one thing you can delete o from over here you can say delete permanently or uh, you can just uh, do one thing just uh, select whatever that you want and uh, you can do some bulk action like you can uh, delete everything at once whatever that you have selected like you can permanently delete that etc etc okay so th these are some of the settings which are available over here if you want to upload some pictures on your website and all you can just uh, click on add new and uh, you can upload the new pictures and all okay next is pages <coughs> 
whatever pages that you want on your website you can uh, see those pages over here you can create those pages over here you can edit them like each and every web page basically has uh, by default home page about page so then the contact us page okay so these are some of the pages which your website has okay so you can create uh, those pages over here uh, currently my website is uh, only two pages which is home and home uh, it's okay uh, uh, basically a uh, website don't have two home pages but currently i'm having because this is the modified one and this is the old one and uh, i can even add a uh, new uh, pages like uh, i can add the page of contact us then the about us etc etc okay so now we are over here i'll create uh, about us page then i will uh, write uh, something about me okay and once this is done i'll say publish and my page is basically published i have to write something about myself you can edit this with the help of the elementor i'll uh, tell you all afterwards what is this elementor and everything in the next class but uh, as of now let's just go back and uh, basically this is how you can create a page let me just refresh this so that i can see the about this page okay so whatever pages that you create you will find all those pages over here okay so this was all about the pages and in the next class we will see the all the other elements okay so thanks for watching